To our next story, and there are some Australians who are too young to remember the days before smartphones, tablets, Google and Facebook. And for some older Australians, it's all a world of mystery. But a growing number of seniors are embracing new technology and enriching their lives. Whoops, all this new notification now, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Lorraine McDonald is the first to admit when it comes to new technology, she's not as confident as her grandchildren. But at 76, she's just enrolled in a class to learn how to use her new iPad. It's a pain in the neck to start with. Well, you can print. Frank Rosato takes the weekly class, teaching these young at heart pupils everything from sending emails and taking photographs to using Skype and Facebook. The main things they're interested in um, are emailing, especially their kids, to show their kids that yes, we can do it. In today's digital world, older generations can find it tricky to learn new technology. But more and more seniors are taking up computer, tablet or mobile phone courses and learning how it can make life easier. And my granddaughter's at seven is more advanced than I am. 74-year-old Brian Patton bought his wife an iPad as a present, but it sat in a cupboard for almost a year before he convinced her to join the class. To encourage her, I said, I'll do it with you. And to a large extent, she's saying that it's your iPad, it's not mine anymore. While 63-year-old Gail Parker is using it to download books. Do you find you're using it quite a lot? Now that I've had classes, yes. <laughs> um, before, I just didn't want to know about it. There's a very good saying, and that is there's no senior who can't. There's only seniors that haven't been shown. <laughs> the classes have been so popular, coordinator Jill Feinberg says there's a waiting list. She says not only are the pupils learning a new skill, they're also having fun. <laughs> Playing words with friends as well, that's the other thing. There's a lot of giggling goes on, so I think the teacher has to bring them to order every now and again. I think that's a good sign and many local councils conduct courses similar to that one. You can find more information on our website. Stay with us, we'll have more of A Current Affair after the break.